what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more of the walking dead we are here with season six episode six um we're gonna be doing six and seven today we're not gonna venture out of that somebody told me do eight and nine together so i'm gonna be doing those together but we're gonna try to satisfy my urges today to do just two episodes because you know i'm on that three episode grind right now we have doing three or more for every sit down um but also i think i talked about it at the tail end of the review um the other day where i told you guys that things are kind of going to go back to normal by next week they're opening up some places and the area where i conduct business they're going to open up that area so i'll be able to leave the house again so things might go back to how they were before who knows what's gonna happen we'll, we'll still see we'll still see because if i if i'm gonna open up and there's not customers it doesn't really make sense to open up you get what i'm saying so we'll see how things go i don't want to say it is what it is <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i'm just giving you guys a heads up on that that they're planning to reopen certain areas around of course we're going to take precautions while out there um you know so we'll see how things go but in any case man a lot of things going on with this so let's just jump in and see what's going on with the walking dead and uh, you know everybody's kind of safe right now diana has become a savage we lost glenn you know r.i.p glenn man the, the 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 legend you know and um if i should say you, you know um somebody pointed out that you know nicholas went you know went out just like how we known him to be a coward he did he did go out like a coward i don't like people that kill themselves <laughs> i mean not to say I don't like the person themselves, but I don't like the act of suicide. I I don't I don't agree with it. it I think it's a coward's way out. I've always thought that if you're contemplating um, suicide, I've con you know have had those thoughts before. Never went through with anything. Like I never cut my wrist or anything like that. It's just that you think like your life doesn't matter. And that was at my lowest point in my life when I was thinking those things you know what i'm saying so you know some people pe people that go through certain stuff in life they want to take their life and stuff like that and we i really do pray for those people because you know going through with the act man going through with the act is just oof oof i i you know and and a lot of people are gonna say oh but you don't know what those people are going through you don't know what they're going through and i'm like you know, and, and that's why we got to be involved. You know, that's why we got to be involved and stay involved. You know what I'm saying? And and try to reach out to people and show integrity and, and, and be warm and kind to people. But I guess that's too much to ask of humanity, isn't it? it? It's like it's too much to ask when it's really not. It's really not. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. But anyways, let's move on. We're going to watch these reactions. Then I'll be right back here for the review. All right, so here we are, season six, episode six through ten. Wow, five episodes of The Walking Dead. I think it's the first time I've ever done five. I've done four before. First time I've ever done five. And the reason why I did five was because, man, I couldn't stop it, too. I couldn't stop it, too, man. And then I was like, okay, you want me to do eight and nine together? Then I did eight and nine. I was like, ah, oh, damn. I really want to see what this, what the time skip is like. So I had to watch at least one <laughs> for the time skip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I would have noticed the time skip anyways. You know, so it's not really like, you know, telling somebody that there's going to be a time skip is not necessarily spoilers. You know, we had a, you, that's not even, it's not even really a big time skip anyways. It's like a few weeks of a time skip. So we get to see Carl woken back up, walking around, you know, Judith has grown up a little bit. Um, it's been, I don't know, I, I would say probably a month, you know what I mean? So there was that and I was looking forward to that. So I had to watch another episode. So I told you guys, I've caught the bug with the walking dead. I'm loving this show right now. Loving this show before, you know, I would do one episode, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't that super exciting to move on to do two? 
You know what I'm saying? But now it's like back to back to back from last season to this season. I, I think ep um, season five and episode six are so epic. I just couldn't do one or two episodes. It's just like I had to do, you know, especially at the tail end of season five. Like I just had to go ham with the reactions, man. So thank you guys so much, man, for always tuning in and, show, and, and showing love. Hopefully you guys have five hours to sit down and watch um the walking dead with me if you did leave a like on the video man let me know if you watched all five of the episodes because i know y'all probably didn't watch all five of these episodes but it is what it is you've already watched the series so now you just want to see my reaction that's fine um okay so let's talk about some things that happened here we saw the, the, the um the aftermath after the tower fell right the tower fell um the gate broke down and the walkers came in we got to see what was going on with abraham daryl um no abraham and sasha what happened with with daryl because he was by himself you know after they got attacked you know and all that good stuff right getting to see a relationship kind of brewing between sasha and abraham and she's grown to kind of like him in some ways now that's a relationship um that i think was kind of like thrown out there C because there was no real chemistry built up between these two characters except for a couple of episodes that we saw but it was more of like Ab i don't know if abraham was was into her and that's the reason why he decided to go with her that wasn't really clear so i'm not gonna give him that one because that relationship kind of like was thrown out i'm not mad at it but at the same time it shouldn't have been just thrown out here like that for us to be like, okay, we're just going to swallow this, that Sasha and Abraham is becoming a thing now because all of a sudden he's just thrown Rosita to the side. You know what I'm saying? Like that relationship I'm not for. So we got a situation that went down with Morgan. Um, Carol is my girl, but she was in the wrong for this. And the reason why I say she was in the wrong, she chose the wrong time to deal with this situation when everybody's life is at risk at this point she is choosing to that oh if i don't kill him he's gonna kill everybody is how many of them was in there it was morgan right it was morgan it was it was carol it was um what's her name i can't even remember uh, denise right they were in there she you know what i'm saying that dude wasn't gonna try anything but as long as you know if there's disruption you know what I'm saying? And caused this dude to get away. Mind you, he ended up dying. And he ended up kind of changing too. You know what I'm saying? It ends up that um, Carol was the one that put him down. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Um, he was kind of reformed. And we kind of kind of saw that small snippet of him being changing and maybe, you know, acting out of character acting out of character because it was very surprising to him too he's like i had a clear because i was like why didn't you just go up the ladder <laughs> you know what i'm saying because i was like oh he's starting to care you get what i'm saying so um he did acknowledge that and denise saw that denise was going to help him because he got bit i guess she was taking him back to the infirmary to chop his arm off so that it could save him um so you know they decided to fight back you know that scene man where they were trying to get through the walkers rick and all of them was trying to get through the walkers and stuff like that to get to the the armory or whatever um they you know what i'm saying ron pulling a gun after he, i mean he was in shock he saw his mom and his brother just die right in front of his eyes so i can understand why he was in shock I mean, his, his intention is just all over the place. He was, he was so confused. And, and you know, I want to blame him for certain things, but at the same time, I can't blame him because he's traumatized by losing his dad. That's still his father. You can't take that away. You can't look at it and be like, okay, you shouldn't have done that. That's still his dad, regardless of what you may think his dad is. But his dad was an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Um, as Carl explained to him, he's like, dude, I get it. I really do. My dad killed your dad. But the fact is, your dad was an asshole. Period. He was. Right? He was. 
There's no qualms about that. Like, like straight up. You know what I mean? So I, you can't also you can't you can't also expect Ron to get over that in that small amount of time, anyways. You know what I'm saying? But I thought he got it after the 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 you know what I'm saying giving Carl the back the gun and stuff like that. I thought he was like, you know what, man, let me let go of this and just move on. You know what I mean? But no, it's just he was like. You know what I'm saying? Because in that moment, he's thinking, this is what Rick does. As he said, this is what he does. He's going to get everybody killed. And he's thinking that maybe, you know, this is a situation where he got his mom killed and his brother killed. And I think because Sam broke the line, you know, doomed them. You know, all of them could have died in that situation because if you stay around the walkers for too long, they're going to notice that you're not one of them. You know, so that happened. I thought Carl was dead. I thought he was dead. I'm serious. I thought he was dead. He got getting sh shot in the eye like that. Like, it's crazy. I thought he was dead. Um, so, Carl going to be wearing an eye patch from now on. You know, got a situation where Glenn came back. Oh, oh I'm not talking about Glenn. Should have talked about Glenn first. Should have talked about Glenn first because I didn't know Glenn was going to survive this. And I said this to y'all, man. Y'all are wrong for that. Y'all came in my comment section on the last reaction talking about R.I.P. Glenn when y'all damn know well that Glenn survived. <laughs> but that's that's keeping it real, though. That's good that I have people here that, you know what I'm saying, and, um, that does stuff like that to not spoil me with certain things. I really do appreciate that, guys, honestly. Um, so Glenn is alive, came back, saved Maggie. I thought he was going. I was like, y'all going to let Glenn crawl from under a truck, from not under a truck, under a freaking garbage bin to come here now to die? Y'all not playing with my emotions like this. But, you know, just um, Sasha and Abraham showed up just in time to save them, to save Glenn. Um, so that was pretty cool. So they decided to fight back. Um, against the walkers that invaded Alexandria and they won. They took them all out, created a distraction with the fire, which was a pretty good idea, and took them all out. And that was the end of that. Um, so yeah, I am happy to say that I'm really loving season six, as you can see. Me reacting to five episodes in a row of The Walking Dead is unprecedented. It's unlike, well, not really. Let me stop capping. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, I really do appreciate y'all for coming through whenever y'all do. Really, really, really do. Okay, so thank you guys so much to all 100 to 150 of y'all that will watch this video um, or come back to watch this review. Um, I'm loving it right now. I'm still worried a little bit about the people, the person, uh, uh, what was it? Nay, Negan, I, Negan, right? I think it's Negan. He said, "The bikers." I was talking about this Negan. I'm wondering if he was talking about himself in the third person or somebody else. I don't know. So, I'm looking forward to to maybe if it is somebody else. Maybe this is what Jesus is going to warn him about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As I said, man. Um, you know, if you guys have not seen the prodigal, um, prodigal son, not the prodigal son. Prodigal Son is the name of the show. It's on Fox. Check that show out, man. Really good first season. Um, we haven't heard anything about them renewing for the second season yet. I mean, we're all in quarantine, so we don't. So they don't know. All I know is that. Watch that season, bro, and tell me, tell me what you guys think. If you want to binge watch it, wherever I think it's on Hulu. It should be on Hulu. Um, so and let me know what you guys think of that show. Um, that was one, I think that was one of the, uh, my favorite new shows that came out last year in the fall and they did an excellent job of, um, telling a, a great story throughout, um, I think it's like 20 episodes. I, I think it's like 20 episodes for the season. Pretty good stuff, man. Um, if you're not, in, the thing about it is this, when it comes on to Prodigal Son, you got to give it time to warm up. You got to give it time to warm up. The second half of the season is straight fire. It's going to seem like a typical, typical thing that's happening in the first half of the season. But the second half, I promise you, you will not be disappointed if you watch this first season straight through 
and just give it some time. It's really good. The acting is really good. Love that dude as the main guy that you see here that's playing Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Love them. Love him in the show. Um, also, one of my favorite actors. Two of my favorite actors is in, um, is in the show. I didn't know this dude before, but we have, um, what's his name? Is it Charlie Sheen's brother? I don't, Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen. No, not Martin Sheen. What am I talking about Martin Sheen? No, not Martin Sheen. Ah, oh, man. What is his name again? I can't remember his name, but he plays this dude's father in the show. I don't want to tell you guys the plot of the show. I want you to go check it out for yourself. But he's also Bellamy Young, which is, mm, love that woman. It's like the older she gets, the prettier she gets to me. You know what I'm saying? If I would, if I was going to go for a cougar, I think I would go for Bellamy Young. Bellamy Young is just, I don't know what is it about her ever since I saw her on Scandal. I'm just like, yo, she's my favorite um, older woman in Hollywood right now. Like, favorite. I love to see her in everything. She's a great actress. Love her in TV stuff. Um, so, um, so go check that show out, man. I'm plugging that show like crazy because I want you guys to see stuff that I don't put on the channel that I actually watch. I could recommend show to, shows to y'all, too, if y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, you, you know, you guys recommend a lot of stuff to me that I'm watching for the, for the channel, so I should be able to recommend some stuff to you too right so i'm looking forward to seeing more of the walking dead man can't wait to watch more i'll probably wait until maybe maybe um a couple of days maybe three days from now i might put out some more episodes but we'll see how things go because things are kind of looking up you know we might get out of quarantine by the end of next week so let's see how things go because they are opening stuff back up for for me where i'm at so Thank you guys so much once again. Leave a like on the video. Um, also, I'm enjoying the series so very much. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of these five episodes. The first time you watched it, of course, leave that down in the comment section. I, You know I'm going to answer you. Okay? Love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Terabyte out. Subscribe if you're new, man. We out here. Peace.